Hi there, Gemini. Welcome into your September 2022 intuitive card reading, where I tune into spirit and see what messages and guidance is coming in for you at this time, as well as weaving in the astrology of September to better guide you on your journey. My name is Chrissy Whistler. I am an intuitive and evolutionary astrologer, and I'm also a healer. So if you are really feeling this moment and it's intense and you just don't know which way to turn, please reach out. You can find me at my website. There's a link in the description below. I offer private readings as well as birth chart readings to better support you and help you understand what messages and experience and resonances your soul is bringing forward for you at this time. Please like and subscribe, share this message with your friends. And with that, Gemini, let's just jump right in. So this is going to be for my Gemini sun, moon, and rising signs to guide you and support you in the month of September. Okay, collaborative dreaming, Gemini. So this September, you are being asked to collaborate with others in some way. Um, I'm also feeling a lot of um, listening with this card. Listening to yourself and listening with others. Um, it's, it's this, um, it's like a balance of what others want and need as well as what you want and need. Um, what you are desiring to bring out into the world and what they are desiring to bring out. So yeah, very, very harmonious feeling, balance, um, this give and take, this flow I'm feeling. Now, um, I'm also getting a very strong sense that this can be around uh, like a project that you might be birthing into the world that you are bringing in, um, a creation. This could be an actual like new community as well. And this feeling of this need to collaborate with others in order for it to be successful, to... Um, to lean on others, to receive from others to help you in return. That pieces that you need to bring this dream into the world, others have. So this September, you might find yourself in that space of, there's something that I wanna do and create, but I don't have all the pieces to make it happen. And spirit is coming in and saying, like, you don't need to. This is no longer go it and do it by yourself. <coughs> oh, sorry, I just sneezed. I knew I usually clear energy through birthing, but that time it was a sneeze. So okay, that's interesting. But yeah, like there's um there's really something in this. You may find yourself in September having new people coming to you to help you. It could be completely out of the blue or it can feel very synchronistic or you might find yourself like a group is forming around you naturally, intuitively. And you might find yourself like, hey, I have this dream, this idea that really sparks your soul and someone else is like, wow, like it resonates with them and they might have other dreams and yet the dreams come together and it's like this, um, this weaving between them, this lining up where they are still different um, and yet they're also the same as you can see in these, just the different color images. It's one picture, they're one linking arm and yet they're different 
and also one. So you might find yourself in that kind of en energy, Gemini. So, all right, I feel like there's more that's going to come in. So let's pull some more cards and see where this takes us. Um, I'm feeling as well, like, to share with you that right now collaboration is very much in the astrology. Oh, okay. All right, Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Okay. Time to heal. Finding the stillness. And um, you're telling me to take one more. This one's from the bottom. Oh my goodness. Okay. Nature's healing power. So, Gemini, this is really interesting because there's all this energy coming forward about healing for you. So, you might actually be needing to heal around this area. Um, you might need to be healing around trusting other people. You might have been very let down in the past, Gemini. Um, I'm actually just popped into my head as like around family. So family healing um, could be very important for you before you let people in to collaborate alongside you. There can be deep healing um, that's needed before you can even get to this sharing of the dream with others. It, it, and it's not like letting those people who harmed you or hurt you back in, but um, there's soul healing that is needed around that. Um, this could be family, this could be around friendships. But Spirit is saying like, there's some part of you that is blocked from really allowing and opening yourself to letting people in, to allowing yourself to dream alongside them even. And in order to do this, like you need to go and find the stillness so you, so you can hear yourself and so you can hear them and the stories that came in with them. This is interesting as well as like, again, I'm feeling family, okay? I'm feeling almost like lineage as well. So you might need this stillness so you can really understand the lineage, the, the quantum like realm around you, around your DNA that made you who you are. Like there is there can very well be something in that field for you that is blocking your ability to really open up and to really do this. So something very deep within you that you need to heal. Take deliberate time to be in stillness. So go into nature. Like nature is going to be so supportive for you, Gemini, on this healing journey. Give yourself the time to do this. Go be still. Don't get lost um, into the voices of others either. You need to be able to hear the voice of yourself. Um, even it's like the more you can hear the voice of yourself, um, that's actually it's like it's going to allow you to almost take a step back. It's like going in to whatever this harm might have been, this healing area that you need to do. Like go into that. And as you do, to really see it and witness it in a way you haven't before yet, you're then going to be able to, to pull back from that experience because it's not going to be as sharp because you're going to allow the space to feel what needs to be, feel, to be felt. And then you can have that more objective understanding where you can then see others. Um, but I feel too like it, it is going to take it feels like it's going to take time. For some of you, this is really deep and really old. It may not even be all of yours. 
Again, I'm feeling that ancestral lineage tie. So that part of it can take time because it's very old and very dense. But again, spirit's coming in another layer of this time to say, take the time out of your busy life right now to do this healing. And I, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going because I feel that more is going to expand. But something amazing is going to be coming in for you, Gemini, when you do this. And it is going to be tied to this collaborative dreaming. Like I feel like something really big and new and different can be birthed at this moment in time if you allow yourself this time and space to heal and to be still. All right, let's do some astrology dice. Okay, let me just double check if that's six or nine. Okay, that's nine. Okay, not nine, my, my bad, six. I always have to double check these two. So you got the sixth house, which is interesting because that's ruled by Virgo. Now here we have Venus. And we have the glyph for Neptune. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just tuning in to this astrology, adding to it. This is just really interesting, um, Gemini. So sixth house is, um, is Virgo energy. Now, both Gemini and Virgo are ruled by Mercury, and Mercury is currently in Libra. Mercury is about to go in retrograde as I'm filming this. Um, let's see. What do you need to share with this? I feel that you are going to be going through this process of um, alchemy around this healing. Whatever it is for you that's coming through, it's like you're, you're chunking it. You're going through the bits and pieces. You're organizing it. Okay, yeah. As you, as you go quiet into nature and go still, okay, that's, gonna, that's what's going to allow you to really see this situation, this block in a whole new way. Like you're going to be able to see, um, it's like the bits and pieces, the organization, this alchemy, like in the month of September, Gemini, you are being asked to be an alchemist of this block for you that's really kind of holding you from truly opening up and and just collaborating this dreaming with others so you might find this is a very like calcification process like you're burning things to their to their base metals at this month Gemini and looking and seeing what's there uh, and then in doing so it's like then you're gonna be able to see how all these pieces and these puzzles are fitting together and you'll be like Okay, this over here, this is mine, but these pieces over here, like this is my, this is my mom's, that's my dad's, that's my great great grandfather's coming in from the hard life that they had. Um, maybe they were betrayed by someone that they really like. You're going to be able to really discern. That's the right word to come in right now. Okay, Gemini, you will be really discerning what is yours, what is the others, and um, that is really interesting okay so Venus is also a sign that rules two houses and here you've got the sixth house and now we have Venus Venus rules both Taurus and Libra so it is this listening to others and you're going to be able to discern which is really perfect for that collaboration um, what is yours what is the others and then you can look at that and you can say like do I value the same things as this other person or is it different do we enjoy the same things do we have the same tastes same dislikes is that important or is that not important 
And you'll be able to see like, prioritize, organize, like, okay, yes, these are the things that are really important to me uh, in working with others. And these things over here, like, it's totally okay if we don't like both like sushi, for example, like you're going to, you're going to be in that kind of process of like, I almost feel like it's like you're doing a Rubik's cube puzzle and you're like moving the bits and pieces, Gemini, and seeing what fits, seeing what you like, seeing how the colors go together. Like, I feel like that's going to be part of this healing process that you're going on. And what's um, coming in as well is we have Neptune. So Neptune is the 12th house, which is opposite of the six. Okay. Neptune is all about like boundarylessness. It's like the connection to the all. Um, this, there is no separation between you and others, between you and nature, you and the universe, the environment. So it's this bleed through of energy. And Neptune is all about learning this discernment. Um, it's like, I mean, you can just think of um, like water, okay? And you have water flowing and you try to drink it and it, like you can't because it just flows. That is Neptune, it is the flow. It flows so much. So the sixth house is coming in and it has the structure of the cup to hold what is coming in from source um, for you to then drink. So I feel like Gemini, you're going to be doing this, this, like this dance, um, this flow between, um, allowing what's coming in. And then like the, the structure of that, of that magic, of that beauty of this dream itself. So that's really beautiful. Like, yeah, I do feel like this is both about healing and it's about the dream itself. Um, you might have people coming in who are helping give you and like create the cup to hold all this water, this insight and guidance that's flowing into you from spirit. Like now you have something to hold it in. Now you can bring it out into the world instead of it just being this vision or fantasy. Uh -uh. Okay, clearing energy. And there are people coming in to help you do that. And I, I just really get this deep sense too that Gemini, you're going to be connecting um, with people who have very similar value systems as you. Um, this could be that through healing of this blockage that you have experienced or your soul has experienced uh, in the past with others. As you heal that, um, it's going to like almost open that way for new relationships to begin in your life that have a similar vibration and resonance as you similar value system so it is going to become like this you know this painting where they are together even as they these individuals are different just tuning back in to see if there's anything else coming in um i feel like this guidance of this healing journey can come in through the divine to be very mystical, um, very flowing. Like it may not make sense with the mental mind, but don't discount it. Okay, here's that mental mind energy coming in as well with the sixth house. So don't discount it. You need to also lean into the flow. Let this, the healing nature flow and guide you where it needs to go. So what a beautiful dance, Gemini, of, of having structure and having this ability to flow. This is an energy of like really healing of, as you heal yourself. Like you're going to become like this hollow reed where the divine will be coming in and speaking to you and bringing these dreams out into the world. Um, I'm just imagining like um, a painter who um, is in the flow, right? They're not staring at the painting, thinking about um, color combinations and angles and shades. Like, no, they're just like when they're really in it, when they are in that direct, excuse me, direct connection to source, that inspiration is flowing from them. It's coming in from the divine to them. And then they have the paintbrush, which is the tool. And their hand is the tool to bring that painting out into the world. 
So that, Gemini, is what you're really learning to do for this month of September. And I feel like you're really learning to do that specifically around the other, this collaboration with others. All right, let's, um, let's see what else is coming in about this. space so again we have this nature connection coming back in and I also just want to point out that Neptune is also about nature in the natural world okay and then broken arrow embrace the energy of peace oh, Gemini your your reading is really so much coming through about healing like just so strongly so I'm feeling that this druid it's it's like this energy is holding space for you spirit is holding space for you to go do this healing work and I feel that Going through this process, you will become a wisdom teacher, a wisdom holder of how to hold the space. Um, and, and yet, and very specifically too, around this, this healing of this blockage that you yourself are like going through, however it is manifesting in your life, like you will be able to teach this. Um, and hold that space for others who are going on that kind of healing journey that might very much mirror and reflect the one that you um, have gone through and are going through this September. Um, I'm also feeling this. You have the ability to hold the space for yourself. And you may not fully know that or have embraced that about yourself. This could be like this, um, this hidden wisdom that you haven't really allowed to be unlocked within you yet. Like this, um, again, like this, you're seated on this treasure chest of gifts and talents. And this very well can be one of them. Like you have this presence and this energy to just stand quiet, calm, vigilant for the healing that's taking place within yourself and within others. And you, what the, what's going to allow you to do this truly is peace. Like, set down the arrows. Set down um, the block, the anger, the tension, the trigger. Like, there's something there. And for you guys specifically in your life and spirit is saying, I need you to put that down. Because it's no longer serving you. Embrace peace. Find the stillness within yourself. And as you do, like, um, it's going to allow for this healing process to occur. Um, now, what Spirit also keeps pointing out to me as well is we have Venus right here. Venus is the ruler of, of Taurus. And currently we have the north node of the moon and Uranus going through Taurus. So, um, which means the south node is going through Scorpio. So we're coming into a very turbulent time, um, September and pretty much all through the rest of the year. So really think of it as like white water rapids. Um, some deep truths that, um, that are going to be revealed at this time and it's the kind of thing that's, that has the potential to really rock the foundation of our beliefs, of even like 
um, just again, like really solid, like you might've always thought your country was like this one thing, solid and strong. And then all of a sudden it's like, oh my gosh, this wasn't true at all. In fact, um, it's the exact opposite or, or whatever, right? Like we don't know what that's going to be, but there is this energy that is unfolding, that is being revealed. So spirit, now this is the part you need to hear, Gemini. Spirit is saying is if you find yourself being distracted by the intensity, by the drama and the manipulation, and you're going into that, those deep feelings and you're just getting sucked down into that bottom, Spirit is saying, pull yourself out of that. Put down your arrow, put down the, um, the drive of fear and worry and polarity that is happening in our world at this time. Put it down and go within. Go find the peace within yourself. Find the stillness. Go connect with nature. Um, go at your own way and your own pace and go into what you love. So as you do that and set down um, the drama of the outside world, the drama and intensity of others, you set that down and just say, nope, I'm not participating. When you do that and you say yes to yourself, you are actually going to be healing yourself and healing of your sovereignty. And Spirit is saying like, this is happening for you for a reason and I'm going to hold this space so you know that you are safe and you are protected. Like I'm going to sit there and Spirit is saying, I will sit beside you in that darkness as you go through this healing, as you go through this alchemy of this breaking down of whatever your block is, whatever your worry, like whatever it is for you, like you are going to be held as you do that. Okay, let's um, let's see what else is, uh, Spirit wants to add to this for you, Gemini. Gemini, first light, beginning a new cycle. Oh, I love that. Okay, I'm going to point out here was we have little eggs that are going to be hatched. We have this turning of the seasons coming in. Like, that's really beautiful. We have winter, fall, summer. Like, it's all, it's all within this card. Okay, what else do we have? Surrender to the journey, Gemini. You need to release your control of what is happening and just surrender to what is. Okay, look at this. Fogged in. Go slow. Take time. Wow. Um, Gemini, like this is so much of reading about healing. You know, like I, I wish I could sit there and tell you like, oh, you've got all these great finances that are kind of coming for you in September and it's going to be, you know, miracles and magic. And, um, but the truth is that's not the message that's coming forward. I mean, spirit is saying like, now is the time for you to heal. Like I, spirit is saying, I need you to, to go on this journey, Gemini. It may not be the one that, that you want to hear, but this is the one that your soul needs to go on. Don't rush it. Um, if you rush this process or if you try to forge ahead, um, you will get fogged in and you're not going to see your way forward. If you don't break the arrow and you continue into the polarity and the fighting, you're going to get fogged in. You're going to lose your way. So, so go slow. Allow yourself to take the time to go on this journey of healing. This, this spread is all about healing and all about coming back into yourself and into what you love, Gemini. Into your connection to the divine. But it's like, to really have that open flow and that open channel of what you are absolutely fully capable of. Like you need to heal it. You have to 
go within to find your peace, to find your stillness so you can heal, so you can become this, this elder figure, this, this person who can hold the space for others, the intensity of others and their experiences. Yeah, and that could very much be part of this collaboration that you're bringing in. This may not be you directly working with others on like a project and them having all the pieces. The collaboration could be you are the one that's healing and holding this, like you are the one that's holding the space for them to heal. So you can be this healer and this space keeper for others on their journey. But first, you have to go through your process to reconnect and retune and back to you. So in September, let go of control. Just surrender to what is, even if what it is, is really hard and really uncomfortable um, scary even. Uh, Spirit is again saying like that. Even if that is going to be your experience and that is true for you in your life, Spirit is very clearly saying like, I've got you. I've absolutely got you. You are not going through this journey alone, but don't resist it. Allow it to take the time that it needs to take because it will clear. The way forward will clear and you, Gemini, are going to start this new cycle. Yeah, just give me two minutes, Eric. (laughs) So, Gemini, you are starting a new cycle. Um, So it's like this, I love when spirit does this, is even though they are saying, like, yes, Gemini, you are going to be doing some really big healing, but it's for a purpose. And we're going to, they're, they're showing you that light at the end of that tunnel is that you will be coming out the other side of this. You will find the clarity that you're looking for. You will find the opening, your way forward, your path that is going to be uniquely yours and what you love. And that's on the other side of this, this healing journey that you are going on to really come in and bring in these dreams on your soul and these dreams too that other souls are waiting for you to bring in that spirit is saying, I'm waiting for you to bring this into the world. And as you do this healing, like you will be able to put it down and you won't be carrying it forward. Like Spirit's saying, if you do this right, if you take your time, if you trust, if you surrender and don't resist, go into nature, find your stillness within, just break apart the bits and pieces that aren't yours, like, you're, you're going to be able to put it down and not pick it up again. And then on the other end of that, like, you will be this healing force for others to show them the light and to show them the way forward into their life and how it suits them the way forward that works for them and I am and I am definitely feeling like abundance energy coming in with this Venus is this um, Venus's resources and money and finances So it's like, yes, there is this promise of a new future for you. And it's going to be bigger and brighter and bolder, Gemini, than you ever dreamed it was because you've been so fogged in and so tied down on whatever within you is needing this healing. And the way is just, it truly is going to open up, Gemini, and the flow is going to come in and you will be that divine instrument to bring this forward on the other side of what you and your soul is asking you to do. So if you need support on this um, and you need help and this is really hard, this healing, please reach out. Again, I offer private readings as well as astrology birth chart readings. Please like and subscribe and share this message. Thank you so much for watching, Gemini, and I will see you all soon. Take care. Bye-bye.